going guys? Austin Dunn back again with another summer strength vlog for you guys. Today, currently almost 11 a.m. right now and it is Monday, the start of the week. So I did kind of wake up late today and I'm already eating my breakfast. Just keeping it simple, our oatmeal, our light bread with peanut butter and a premier protein shake. And then about two, three hours from now, Today we're doing chest day, chest, triceps, and shoulders, AKA a push day. So here I'm gonna work my planche skills, my static work, 90 degree handstand push-ups, all that good stuff. And today is the day where I'm actually starting, like I said in the previous vlog, um, the use of weights and some isolation exercises. Now this weekend was a very fun, eventful weekend for me. I didn't record it, obviously, but if you do follow me on Snapchat, or on Instagram at GeekAMD, and my Snapchat is at Oz2Boss, everything down below. Do you know that I went to this party this weekend? I did drink a little bit, drunk Fireball, and I had some of this E&J Apple brandy. And then later that night, like me and a friend, we just ate like a big bag of um, tortilla chips and, and uh, nacho cheese or whatever. But I made up for it yesterday, the next day. So what I do, if I cheat on my dad really, really bad, or it's a, a night out of drinking or something like that, the next day, usually I make up for it by eating very, very little. So, you know, you gotta think of the way your body uses calories on a weekly basis rather than on a daily basis, if you know what I mean. So, if you eat uh, 5,000 calories in one day, but 2,000 calories the rest of the days, versus you eating 1500 calories every single day. It, all, all that matters is that at the end of the week, um, how many calories you've eaten. So that being said, yesterday we ate one time at IHOP. I got steak, eggs, and pancakes, which was around 1500 calories. And then from there, got home, all I drank was water, I had a zero calorie Powerade, and I had one protein shake. So yesterday I ate less than 2,000 calories, making up for the day before when I totally just binged and drunk alcohol and all that stuff. So yesterday I was feeling a bit bloated, but now my definition is kind of coming back just a little bit. So for some reason, a lot of people always ask me what ethnicity I am or what race I am. So I just got my results back right now and I will show you guys. All right, so if you look here, I got 75% from Africa or African with 30% being Cameroon, 25% this. It actually shows you a map as to where that is. See if I, if I go here, here, it tells me exactly where it's at. Then if we scroll down, Asian, less than 1%. European, AKA white, I guess, from Ireland, 9%, and then all these other factors mixed in. And then native um, North American, less than 1%. All right guys, currently two o'clock right now. I've been spending the past two and a half hours video editing, of course, and doing some business stuff within the business. So um, yeah, but now I'm finally done. So made my pre-workout right here. Shake it up a bit. This is, I think, Mr. Hyde by Pro Subs. It has like uh, 250 to 300 milligrams of caffeine. Gets you really, really hyped for the workout. And yeah, I'm gonna need it because I haven't trained planche in a good minute, it seems like. So, we're gonna go kill it. All right, so what's up guys? Welcome to the workout. Today, I decided to do a voiceover for you guys. So starting off first, we're gonna keep it real simple, just doing some jumping jacks. Before I actually recorded this, I did do a few laps around the track behind me, if you can see. But yeah, I keep my warm up pretty simple. I just like to get the blood flowing, just do some mobility movements and different stuff like that. And if you guys actually prefer me to do voiceovers rather than those cool edits, just let me know and I'll try to do more voiceovers for you guys. So right now doing some more shoulder rotations and of course, always, always, especially when you're doing chest, like planches and all that, you want to stretch out your wrists. So I just do a few movements here and there and I always stretch out both sides of my wrists. Before every workout, I love doing what's called the scapula pulls and you just literally just pull your shoulder blade back up and down. And then I've, I, of course, always do shoulder dislocates with this green band right here. Really will get your shoulder nice and warmed up for you. All right, starting off first, we're gonna do L-sits to handstands back down to a planche. I really just started doing this. I'm really focused on maintaining form throughout the whole entire movement. So 
I'm trying to keep my arms as straight as possible even when coming down into the planche. As you can tell, my, my feet were a little high up, but that's all right. Like I said, I'm still practicing and getting stronger at this. And then I wanna eventually be able to do it where my arms are completely straight throughout the whole entire movement. So it is a work in progress and I'm really happy with my progress so far. So, you know, with bodyweight training, once you get good at different movements, you wanna combine them all into one movement, just like I'm doing here. So I did, I think, four sets of this right here, just some static practice. And I always do static practice before I work out, no matter what I'm doing, pretty much. And I know a lot of you guys know that I am trying to also work on the one-arm handstand. As you can see right here, it is getting better. It's getting there. I, I recently just started working on this, too. Like, all these skills, like, I just added to the program. So... I got about half a second right there, but I'm doing a lot of different stuff in order to train my one arm strength and getting, to get stronger at the one arm handstand. So give me a few months, maybe even a few years, just gotta stay consistent and keep at it. And eventually I know that I will get it. All right, right here, I'm just doing the normal straddle planche on the ground, just working it a different way. And then I superset that with planche leans with a kind of wide hand position. All right, so the first working set are 90 degree handstand pushups. A pretty cool exercise to do that engages um, not only your chest, but also your shoulders too. I love this exercise. So I've gotten pretty good at it, I'll say. I'm still kind of working on my forearm. But over time, I am gonna start cleaning that up. And I think right here, I got a PR actually. So I usually only hit two to three reps, believe it or not. But like this workout, I was feeling really good. And I hit, I think six reps. So I was really happy about that. So I did 90 degree handstand pushups for a total of three sets, very low amount of reps and very long rest period in between the sets. And then from there, I went into this exercise that I told you guys about recently, which are the archer planche, well, pseudo planche lean push-ups. I think that's how you say it. I don't know what to call it really, but I have talked about this exercise. And it's a really good exercise for planche movements and just overall building stronger. And I love how it focuses on only one arm at a time. Then lastly, I finished off with just like a burnout of handstand push-ups. My shoulders were so dead by this point. So by this point in the workout, I was feeling really tired. My shoulders were just straight on hurting so bad. But you know, sometimes you just gotta look forward, push through, and know that, you know, those gains, you're not there for nothing. You have to get those gains, man. You gotta get them. So I did weighted dips, as you can see right here. I did 90 plus 25 pounds, I believe. And I did that for a low amount of reps, I believe less than five or right at five, actually. And I just did three sets of that. Great tricep exercise, one of my favorites, actually. So with the form, remember you wanna hit right at 90, do not go below 90, especially if you're doing weighted dips, then you wanna extend all the way back up. So if you cannot tell by now, this chest routine is definitely high volume. And just because I'm doing this routine, that doesn't mean that you should follow the same routine that I do because I'm pretty sure a lot of you cannot planch or cannot do 90 degree handstand pushups. You must build your way up to that point of strength before you actually even attempt anything like this. And good thing for you, I actually made a program called the Bodyweight Bodybuilder, which I personally followed as a beginner and it will teach you to where I, I actually am today. So do not dive in head first with this routine. Trust me, you're gonna hurt yourself. But the next exercise, I actually incorporated my weighted stuff. And like I told you guys, I want to work on my medial delt or the lateral delt, whatever you want to call it. So I started doing more flies and I used 30 pound dumbbells. And I supersetted this with tricep extensions on the bench. So this is going to work your long head of your tricep, like I said in my uh, best tricep exercises video. Go now, everybody's taking notice. Yeah, they go now, yeah. Get it right. 
And to finish off the workout, I did five sets of seated calf raise, eight to 15 reps, nice, slow, and controlled, feeling that contraction and that squeeze. So that was the workout today, guys. Take a look at this insane pump I got from mostly bodyweight exercises. Gains are coming in, man, I'm telling you. All right, so just finished the chest, triceps, and shorter workout. Feeling super flat right now, even though I do got a pump. So I need to get something to eat. That being said, it is almost five o'clock right now and all I had was breakfast. So definitely need to put some carbs in since I didn't eat a lot yesterday. And today I've only eaten probably around 700 calories. So I'm gonna fix a post-workout meal and we're gonna get started. Post-workout meal is now done. Keeping it simple as always. We got four eggs, we got our Mike's Killer bread, wheat bread, the more heartier bread, with uh, some chicken breast and mustard. And lastly, we just got a scoop of protein and some water. So, post-workout meal, high protein for sure. Calories, not that much either. Probably around 500 or around that area, 500. So, yeah. And I know in this vlog, I've kind of been talking about calories a lot. Well, that's because, yes, I do not track my calories, but I am aware of my calories and how much I take in the day. So if you do not track calories, I highly suggest that you still be aware of your calorie intake, just so if you see any type of fluctuation in your body weight or how you look in the mirror, then from there you can adjust. All right, guys, it's been a long day filled with working out, sleeping, eating, editing videos, and managing social media. So. Since I'm at college, a lot of people are gone for the summer, and in that case, a lot of people aren't here. So, yeah, not many people are here. That means I'm kind of bored throughout the day, and all I really do is just research things, work on the business, like I said, and edit videos. Currently snacking on right now, a bit of Greek yogurt with a lot of granola and some cashew golden cereal, and I'ma chug that water. Of course, we got our Cliff Bar, which is nut butter filled. So guys, to end the vlog off, I wanna tell you, about my secret. So if you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, once again, you probably already know this, but a lot of you do not. But my secret is that I am coming out with my own workout equipment. I can't tell you exactly what it is. No, it is not a pull-up bar, but it's really unique, it's different to the market, it's patented and everything. So I got the prototypes coming in here, um, probably mid-June or early June. Then from there, we're gonna put them in production and we're gonna launch the Kickstarter and hopefully make it available worldwide for you guys. So I'm really excited to start this venture. I've been working on it for a while now. It's so many steps when you're trying to launch a physical product and a lot of money involved. So hopefully it turns out well, it changes people's lives. I know it's going to because it's just simply awesome.